Ahead of Monday's total solar eclipse, some school districts are dismissing students early. One is the Seymour Public School District in Connecticut. The superintendent there said the decision is to help mitigate any possible risks of eye injury if students look at the eclipse without proper equipment. Now, we've been talking a lot about the science behind this eclipse. Today, a look at the spiritual side of this cosmic phenomenon. Astrology dates back centuries, and those that study the stars say that if you feel a little different around an eclipse, there's a reason for that. The science of an eclipse is as real as the stars in the sky. But those stars also tell another story. And that is how astrology is impacted by this cyclical alignment of the sun, the moon, and the earth. Is there a particular sign that will be impacted more during this eclipse? Aries will definitely be impacted. Also, their opposite sign of Libra will be, and the signs of Cancer and Capricorn as well. Let's just say that every member of the Zodiac will be impacted. Nobody gets out of an eclipse without impact. Astrologer Rebecca Gordon believes the planets always assert an influence over events and our behavior. Eclipses, she says, only magnify what is happening. What about to those folks that are sitting at home going, oh my God, please, this is just all a bunch of smoke and mirrors. And you look at patterns and cycles, big things happening on eclipses that you simply cannot argue with. Gordon says, just look at the historical events that have occurred. For example, when the Titanic set sail in April of 1912, scientists say an extremely rare positioning of the sun, earth, and moon caused an unusually high tide, allowing ice flows to move south and into the path of the ocean liner. And it was just hours after a solar eclipse on June 21st, 1982, that Prince William was born. It said the connection between eclipses and the royals dates back centuries. How much impact does the path of the moon and the sun have on astrology? When the moon is full, the tides are high. All crustaceans are born on full moons. Did you know that? Jellyfish are often born on full moons. So essentially the waters swell. The waters of the ocean swell. What is your body made up of? Mostly water, yeah. So would you imagine that a full moon has any impact on our being? Or what are some things we should be paying attention to during this time? There might be a bit of chaos and confusion. So in your life, there might be, why did that job let me go? That relationship just began, that relationship ended. There can be a whole lot of change. You want to not plan too much. Leave space open because you will need that space to react thoughtfully, mm. not rashly. See now, you went in there like I would. <laughs> like, come on, man. Come on. Until she said water. And then you were right? like, ooh, mm -hmm. maybe there's something here. The whole right? tides with the moon and then our body. I was like, okay, wait a minute. Right. <laughs> Back up. <laughs> right. I have friends who swear by this stuff, and I'm the same mm -hmm. way until every now and then. Yeah. So is it random or is it, you know, is it causing effect? So yeah. I don't know. You know, it's a great question, and I think it's, it's open for discussion. Right. And I'm so glad that we were able to do this story because right. it does pique a lot of interest. But and the bottom line is... No rash decisions here in the next week or That's two, right. okay? That's right, cool, especially yeah. on Tuesday. Don't do too much. Exactly. Don't jump out there on anything. Exactly. Right. So, by the way, we need to plug this because we have special coverage planned for Eclipse Day. Lonnie Quinn will be live in Rochester, and I will be live in Niagara Falls. We'll have a team of reporters as well across New York and New Jersey. Watch our Empire State Eclipse live coverage Monday starting at 2 p.m. on our streaming channel, CBS News New York. Okay.